Hey everybody, it's Monday, August 10th already, hard to believe, and we celebrate the Feast of the Deacons, St. Lawrence. I'll read from John, chapter 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loses his life, loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Anyway, I said it's the feast of the deacon St. Lawrence. He's one of the early church martyrs. He died in the year 225, and he's one of the more popular martyrs in some ways, because uh, actually he's patron saint of comedians, by the way. St. Lawrence. We, most people kind of go to church, or, you know, church world would know this little background. He's in charge of the uh, finances of the church back then, the goods, and the emperor wanted his hands on the treasures of the church. Give me the treasures. All right? And he told the emperor, well, give me some time. i got to collect it. He said, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I'll wait. And so some days pass, and then finally the deacon Lawrence, he comes back. Instead of bringing any of the chalices or gold or whatever they may have, offerings, he comes in with the, uh, well, no pearls, but he brings in the uh, the poor, the lame, and the sick. And the emperor you know, thought, wow, what is he making fun of me? This is a joke. But he was sincere. He said, this is the wealth of the church. This is the blessings. But the emperor would hear nothing of it, so he put him to death. And the way they put him to death, they uh, burnt him to death like a grill almost, you know. And supposedly when he was being, I guess, tied up on the pole almost, he told the, his those who were the execution is, he said, you can turn me over. I'm done on this side, you know. And that's sort of making a little humor of it, how we get to see patron said, imagine, I'm well done on this side, turn me over. What he said those words, who knows. But, but his interest, one, the treasures of the church were the poor, the sick, the outcast. And this is the wealth of the church. We can't lose sight of that. We like a comfortable life. We like going to a nice parish, you know, like a nice situation. But we see with the eyes of faith, the eyes of God, our wealth is the poor that we serve. And may that be said as a church, but even as individuals. Okay? So have a blessed day. God bless you.